I got this East Oak glass wind guard for our fire pit. We got this to help with the real windy days that we have. Let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and check out how it works. When you open up the box, you're gonna get four pieces of glass, really nice thick pieces of glass. I did leave them in the plastic for two reasons. One, I didn't wanna get them scratched up here on the concrete, and two, they are numbered. So although there's just four pieces, you probably wouldn't get them confused, but they are numbered to help you put this together because the manual shows you exactly how to do it using the numbers. There's also, as you see here, number four and five, those are the end pieces. And this is a bag of the little set screws that go in there. We're gonna get this thing put together. All right, and here it is. This is the glass wind guard on top of our East Oak fire pit. And I gotta say, it looks really nice. It's even got this like nice etched East Oak name in it. And the glass is super thick. So I don't think you have to worry too much about its sturdiness. It's gonna be very sturdy. The corners are done really well. What I like about it too is, is these screws, when they screw in, they actually have rubber feet on each one of those screws. So when you screw them in, it's just pushing that rubber against the glass and not like metal. So you have to worry about cracking. So you can actually tighten these pretty good. Don't go crazy, but you can tighten them pretty good without having to worry about busting the glass. And on the bottom of these, there are rubber feet that you put on. So when you go set it down on your East Oak table, you're also not having to worry about scratching up the glass your table. We lit this earlier without the glass and it was blowing the flames all over the place. Let's see what it looks like now with the wind guard. Wow, it lit up with no problem. I actually had a little bit of a hard time lighting it early because when I would put it on low, it would just blow the fire out. Very nice. Man, that is really nice. So much better than not having a wind guard. Now, on a non-windy day, the wind guard doesn't do a massive amount, but on a windy day, you can barely keep these things lit. So this wind guard is really doing a great job of allowing for the flame adjustment. I can even kick this thing up pretty high. Only once the flame gets past the wind guard, do you actually start seeing any turbulence. Very cool. All right. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.